Yo, what is up guys? It is that time of the month again. We are going to clear the final stage of the new Memory of Chaos. Uh, it is called A Song's True Theme. And uh, what's happening is a Trotter is going to spawn once again. Uh, you can weakness break this Trotter and it immediately dies just from that. And once it's defeated, the one who killed the Trotter is getting an action forward by 100%. So basically gets another turn immediately. And then you also apply a team-wide memory imprint on all of your allies, which increases your attack and break effect by 30%, and you can stack that up to five times. So that's quite a lot of additional damage. So we want to make sure to uh, weakness break as many trotters as possible or just kill. Works as well, of course. Team 1, we are using a, an Acheron comp with Sparkle in there. I don't really have a great physical uh, DPS unit. I guess if you have Argenti yourself, or, of course, the new unit, uh, Boot Hill. You probably want to use those in here, but I do not own either of the two. And Clara just wasn't uh, fast enough. I tried her out, she just wasn't fast enough. So, we are using Acheron here. For the second team, this one is quite interesting. First of all, we are finally facing the past, present, and eternal show boss again. So, if you didn't grab that one achievement, this is your chance. So, we are using a Dual DPS comp for this one, that's quite rare, especially for me, especially in Memory of Chaos. <laughs> but yeah, this team actually seemed to work the best out of all of the stuff that I tried. So we are using a Himiko Jingyuan combo in there. And of course, the best harmony unit to support a double DPS comp is, in my opinion, and probably in the opinion of many others as well, Ruan Mei. So she is going to support these two. And then we also have Luocha in there as the sustain unit and Fujuan in the first team as the sustain unit over there. So, those are the team setups. Let's hop into the battles. Bang a music. So, yeah, so what I figured out works best here in this case is to not just go straight for the trotters. Instead, you want to use units that hit adjacent enemies so you can actually hit a boss as your main target and just weakness break the trotter basically on the side. So, we are going to do exactly that with Acheron right now. Look at this. So we are attacking, we are attacking this boss, but we will also weakness break the Trotter and it's going to die immediately. So Edron gets another turn. Which gets us straight into our ultimate. Boom, big damage. まだ立ち上がりますか。捕獲マーク起動。愉快な反撃の時間です。トゥトゥトゥ。トゥトゥトゥ。トゥトゥトゥ。トゥトゥトゥ。トゥトゥトゥ。トゥトゥトゥ。
Oh boy, okay, so. <laughs> Big damage. Uh, what do I do? I'm debating whether I want to use... Yeah, you know what? We are doing something crazy. Let's do this first. Then even though I already have uh, Etran's ultimate ready, I'm still going to use Pella's ultimate. Just for the additional defense threat. Then... Boom, another buff for Atron, and now we're using the ultimate. Let's check out the damage here. Yep, pretty juicy. Another defense reduction from the light cone, very nice. You know what, I have so many skill points, I think I'm just going to use her skill again to get the ultimate. So she can heal herself now. Very nice. And we keep on killing those trotters. Uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, so what's going to happen now is we're going to get our ultimate ready again. I'm going to use it. The ultimate is definitely going to weakness break the trotter, I would say. Yep, so she gets another turn. Check our attack right now. What do we have? Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. <laughs> so we have three memory imprints right now. Attack plus 45%. There can be two more stacks. Dispelling his buff with Pella. Dangerous, but we are fine. <laughs> Let's see. I guess it's optimal if I don't use Pella's ultimate right now. Oh boy. Poor Argenti. This is going to be bad for him. <laughs> yeah. Dude, imagine getting killed by your own minions. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Ooh, a trotter. Yeah, let's get his buff away. Hello, ultimate. Uh, yeah, I don't need the skill points. I'm just going to spam skills. This should be over very soon. So, okay, in this case, in this case, we can weakness break the trotter by attacking it as the main target. In this case, you want to attack the trotter. Like, killing the trotter with a DPS character is, like, the, the main thing you want to do. Because now she gets another turn. That leads into her ultimate. 
And this should be the end of the fight. Bam! So it's uh, pretty good, right? <laughs> 26 cycles left. Pretty good, pretty good. So, second theme. This is probably the, the more interesting one for most people. Since dual DPS... At least I don't see that too often, but... Yeah, okay, so let me show how this works. Of course, get all of our techniques up. And this team comp is actually super fun, because, I mean, you already know what Temiko does, right? From all of the uh, pure fiction stuff we did in the past. This is going to be great. Just this time she's not going to be accompanied by, by Herta. She's going to be accompanied by, um, by Jing Yuan here. But yeah, same thing as before. We want to break the Trotter's weakness gauge. And Ruan May makes that quite easy, so... <laughs> Boom, another turn. And now look what we can do. I can break this guy's toughness, and Himiko is going to get another full up attack from that. <laughs> now she's using the ultimate. We break another boss's toughness gauge. She gets another follow-up attack. <laughs> yeah, this is so much fun. I love this. Yeah, I should have I should have used uh, Luoja's ultimate after his attack, but it's it's fine. We we are safe. We are safe. Like the enemies, the enemies are not even going to move. Look at this. <laughs> they know what's up there. Like yeah, it's useless anyway. What are we supposed to do? This is bullshit. Oh, they didn't wake up Himiko. That is unfortunate. There we go. There we go. Ba -ba follow up, follow up. Da -da -da -da. Uh, do I or do I not? I think I'm just going to save a skill point here. <laughs> Okay. So, here we are. The past, present, and eternal show. Let's put the show on. Boom. Weakness broken. Follow up attack. Into follow up attack. <laughs> into ultimate. Uh, 
Oh yeah, by the way, I guess in most cases you want to... Let me actually heal her. In most cases you probably want to uh, weakness break the trotters with Jingyuan in this situation here. <laughs> because getting more turns for him means that um, he obviously also gets more stacks for his Lightning Lord. So if you if you have the de decision between breaking it with Himiko and him, you probably want to do it with him. Yeah. Ah, almost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm getting a bit low on skill points here because they managed to to hit their their sleep often. Okay, there you go. Now it failed. Yeah, I think I'm going to just auto with her again. And then we are going to break the trotter with Jingyuan. Let's do this first. Weakness break the trotter. She gets a follow up attack as well because we broke the weakness of the boss. <laughs> nice. 10 stacks with Jingyuan. And we are about to weakness break the bosses again. I feel like this boss especially is great for Himiko because, you know, lots of fire weaknesses. And also, you have three different targets that you can break the toughness, so... This is a great battle for, for Himiko. Now look at this, we are breaking this guy. Himiko gets a follow-up attack. The other guy is broken too, she gets another follow-up attack. Beautiful. Okay, now we have a lot of skill points again to spend. So, it's about time we finish this. Definitely wasn't uh, the luckiest attempt because uh, our DPS got slept quite often. But it it's fine anyway. This, this, and that's it. That's Memory of Chaos Stage 12. <laughs> 20 remaining cycles, so my, yeah, my best was 21. It, it's good enough. It's probably even better to show you guys something that isn't like, you know, perfect RNG or something. Just so you know that uh, this setup actually works. But yeah, that's our setup for this time. Let's get into our uh, character showcase. Alright, so let's get into the character showcase here. So this was the DPS of my first team comp. This is my Adron. Invested quite a lot of energy into getting her some proper relics. She still isn't perfect, but I think she's pretty good. Especially for like a, a close to free to play player like me. Uh, Eidolon Zero, as I said. Nothing too special over here with the traces and the relics, but she has the signature light cone. Very, very powerful light cone for her. Um, and she's been supported by my Sparkle. My Sparkle only has uh, a four star light cone. She's using the past and future because, um, as you saw, like whenever I used the skill on Acheron, Acheron was the character who goes next. So she always gets the 32% damage increase from this. I think it's a very, very good light cone. Uh, if you have the proper speed adjustment. Then max traces, relics, and we have an Eidolon 2 here. Uh, I invested quite a lot of jades into, into Sparkle's 
skipped a lot of other banners just for her because I was like, dude, this is the final piece for my mono quantum setup. So let's get her to um, a pretty good level. Um, yeah, then we have Pella. She's using the resolution shines as pearls of sweat light cone uh, to get some more debuffs for Atron's ultimate. And uh, yeah, these are the, the traces, the relics. And of course, she's idol in six. Then, uh, yeah, Fujuen. She is using the trend of the universal market. Light cone. Same reason as why Pella is using hers. Uh, this allows us to get another debuff up. That also, um, yeah, gets us stacks for Atron's ultimate. Okay, then second team. We have Himiko. She is idle on zero, but she does have her signature light cone. I pulled that as well from uh, silver tickets, actually. <laughs> I guess I'm I'm, I'm lucky sometimes. Um, so yeah, relics. Quite honestly, I was a bit troublesome because most of the time, most of the time, I do not use these two together. So usually, I tend to swap around the relics from Jingyuan to Himiko. But of course, this time that wasn't possible because they were partnered up. So, she's using some very, very strange relics here. It, it does work, though. It does work. I, I don't think it's too terrible, but, you know. So, she has very low speed, but that's fine because we are mostly just caring about her follow-up attacks. Uh, these are the traces. You know, just the talent maxed follow-up attacks. There we go. So, then we have Jingyuan. Uh, this guy has pretty good stats, I would say. Like, he has... Here's all the good follow-up relics, which normally she's going to use when, you know, when I use her normally. Um, but yeah, not this time. So he's using the today as another peaceful day. Lightcone, this one was from the battle passes. I bought them, like, when I started the game for, like, the first five months, I think. I also got the, um, I also got the battle passes, so that's where that comes from. Um, traces, relics, no Eidolons, of course. Then, our support unit. And she's a very important part of this team comp because she's so good for double DPS because she doesn't like, she doesn't focus her buffs on just one character. It's like a, you know, it's an overall team buff. So that's really good. And not even speaking of the synergy she has anyway with like, uh, you know, weakness, weakness breaking characters and Himiko wants weakness breaks. So she was just a perfect fit for this team comp. Um, yeah, those are the stats. We are using a Memories of the Past Light Cone. Didn't pull too many of those yet. Um, traces, pretty maxed. So that's the basic attack, but, you know, who cares about that? Those are the Relics. And uh, we are, of course, Eidolon 0. I'm actually thinking about maybe getting Eidolon 1. It de depends. Depends how lucky I get with Firefly, I guess. <laughs> um, and then we have Luocha. Luocha. Yeah, he's using the Signature Light Cone. Those are the traces. Those are the relics mixed between speed and healing. And he's idle on zero. So, so yeah, guys, that's our team comp. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you maybe got some uh, ideas what you could also use in your strategy to beat this. But yeah, this was overall a very, very fun uh, memory of chaos, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, I guess next is going to be... Oh, I wonder. Because we are getting another. We are getting a third... Memory of Chaos, right? So we have Memory of Chaos, Pure Fiction, and the new... I forgot its name. Something with, with A, I think. <laughs> but yeah, they, they told us in the news, but uh, yeah. Um, I guess we are going to put up videos for that thing as well. I'm not sure if it's going to be in turn with Memory of Chaos, Pure Fiction, and then the new thing or not, but uh, yeah. I guess that's going to be another source of content for us, so... I'm looking forward to that. Um, but there's probably going to be another Pure Fiction next time, so... So I hope to see you guys back for the next video as well. Um, please enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.